Okay, it's 5.01. Let's call the meeting. It's April 4th, 2022. Uh, welcome, everyone. I think we'll start with introductions. Mr. Gokenauer, if you'd like to begin. Uh, Dan Gokenauer, 34. Margaret Sullivan, fiscal officer. Don Hollister, trustee. Chris Mutcher, trustee. Marilyn Moyer, trustee. Tyler Altman, fire chief. I'm Ted Wallstrom, I'm a firefighter, a sergeant here. <laughs> Carl Klein, new lieutenant. Uh, uh, Jake, oh. Jake uh, Rich, just, just fireman. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin Demeter, volunteer firefighter at ET. Thank you all for coming, appreciate it. Um, if you don't mind, we'll have a little bit of business and then we'll be able to chat with you guys for just a, just a short amount of time, okay? Okay. Great. Okay. Business at hand. I would entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of March 21st, 2022. I so move. Is there a second? I'll second. Uh, any further discussion regarding those minutes? I found them to be perfectly acceptable. Thank you. Or acceptably perfect. I'll second. Good job. You can't second. I can't. You're good. Of course. Then I'll ask the question. And I accept it. Oh, okay. Um, but we could vote. <clears throat> Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. And I may vote. I'm going to sit for which I was going to no. Yes. No, I can't. I can't do it. No. Okay, cool. You can vote. You can vote. God knows what they did when I was in here. And if you had any questions, we had the opportunity. Do you have anything? No, I asked the question that, about the wording of, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's okay. right. I now have a motion to approve the payment of the bills, the amount of $43,380.05, break that down, general fund, $8,938.79, fire fund, listen up, guys, $27,720.85, oh, my heart, cemetery, $530.28, now that was a good one. EMS building, billing, excuse me, $2,482.08 that just keeps growing. Road bridge, $3,708.05. Uh, is there a motion to approve the payment of these bills? I so move. We have a motion. I'll second. We have a second. All right. We're in line that the fire budget does include a payroll. So. All right. It's all payroll. What are you talking about? <laughs> all those. <laughs> That's what we're, That's what we're in trouble about. Uh, any further discussion regarding payment of these accounts? Yes. Well, I would just point out that perhaps part of why the cemetery is so low is that we have such good EMT and fire service. <laughs> 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 that no doubt about it. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought they were dying to get in, so apparently not. Oh. So I guess we get revenue on both ends. If we get up in the ambulance, then we go. What is that? Or what's the problem? Oh, we're not sure. That's why it has to go back. But it's okay. got a serious uh, rattle from the front end on brand new tires. Okay. So it's, it's not a problem with the accounting of them. No, it's a problem with the tires. With the actual product. Well, I don't know if it's the product they installed or what, but uh -huh. it's not right. So we, we'll take it back tomorrow morning and have to make it right. So we probably should pay it one way or the other because we're going to keep the tires or we're going to keep tires on it. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to, I always yeah. like to dangle money in front of it and make sure they do it right. Okay. But they got a lot of business for us, so I guess they know we're coming back. So. We can dangle it, but Mara's going to have to change like three different totals on the. Oh, no, that's cool. Whatever it makes Margaret happy. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right, cool. Well, we're um, <laughs> carrying no further discussion, may we vote on the payment of these counts, please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Correspondence for the period. We have a coronavirus state and local fiscal recovery fund NEU uh, information sheet. And with any luck, we'll get that done by the end of uh, April. God, there's so many things to do. Board of County Commissioner's proclamation about uh, natural, it's natural native plants in Ohio month uh, in April. And we may or may not have a proclamation between now and the end of April. Uh, Otama anniversary documents, um, 
Department of Commerce notice of legislation, two legislative authorities, uh, OTA 325 and 401 legislative alerts, grasses, grass roots, clippings, newsletter, capital budget request about the uh, Yellow Springs Clifton connector. I don't think there's much hope for that. 2022 Green County Farm Forum meeting, uh, letter of support regarding Kingwood Solar Project. Where's Jennifer? Uh, Star Ohio's new, new investment document, Green County Board Health April 7th meeting announcement. Strongest town contest, I voted, did you? Ohio Power Siting Board, March 23rd, journal entry. Emails regarding temporary use application, Richard shows up. Hmm. Update on Calabarian, you know, he doesn't show up, we'll talk about it. Update on Calabarian Stone, Great Lakes Chapter of Spoon meeting on the May 21st, planning official training session two, Links and that will that training will be uh, uh, Wednesday night. If anybody's interested in going, um, um, they actually they ch I think they changed that date because I thought it was the six two when they had, now they've updated. They made a mistake. It'll be next week. It doesn't matter. Okay, county we'll figure that out. County engineers chip seal bid results uh, and and all the other bids, all the asphalt. It's all. Not just Chips Hill. It's all in. Uh, Fillmore got the, got the business. Fillmore. Fillmore. You ever heard of them? Concrete people? Yeah. They do oh. black top too? Yeah, they do everything. Our Fillmore? Yeah. Our Fillmore. Yeah. They're going to do the whole county. Huh? Huh. Fun status, revenue status, and appropriation status for today. <coughs> Any further correspondence in or out? Well, I have a question about the correspondence of it. I had, I had asked that any new thing, it's, it's due in April. Could you just speak up a little bit? That um, whatever we have to get into this little portal mm -hmm. is due April 30th, right? Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much just to say if we've spent any money or not. Mm -hmm. um, and I had, I had inquired about whether I was able to get in the portal and see it and just get to see what looks like and things. And is that, do, am I allowed to have access, or that's just you and Margaret? Or? Sure, it just that. opened today. Oh, because I mean, okay. the old so, ones. So you created an account. Made open. Created an mm -hmm. account. Mm -hmm. But the ARPA fund one just opened today. I think. Oh. It might have been, might have been yesterday, but not today. It's Monday. I think it's today. So I was gonna. Yeah. I, I I there. But there's nothing in it. Yeah, there's no money in it because they haven't dropped it from. Well, it may say that there's 64000 but there's no other information. I mean, there's nothing that we yeah. spend it on or intend to spend it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would, I'm just, you know, I, I wasn't trying to sneak it and see well, what I, we'd spend it. I was just saying I'd like to see what the... I'd be happy to open know. it up for you. You can and, poke um, around. Um, I had just, I was going to go in, so I did a little forget, forgot password. And they said, oh, this, this account has already been set up for mm -hmm. this email address. So you know, but that was like two days ago. Mm -hmm. So that was the old one. No, that's the new one. Okay. Okay, cool. But until the portal opened, it just said, this portal's not open yet. Look, oh, okay. Check back mid-April or something, but now it is open. Any other comments about correspondence? Any public comment on our agenda items before us this afternoon? Okay, public. No. Um, I didn't get an agenda. <coughs> Okay, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got it. Now for the highlight of the evening, fire department report. A hum day or two. Okay. All right, since the last meeting of the board, there have been 29 EMS incidents, three of which happened in that country. And six fire calls, one happened in that country. Uh, yeah, we can't really talk about this. Medicaid 2 got its new tires and goes back tomorrow to confirm. Put on right, I guess. <laughs> Um, a couple of things I forgot to put on there because I always forget something. Uh, tomorrow we're hosting uh, with the village uh, public works department uh, two training sessions from Center Point Energy. Dan, if you're interested, you're welcome to come too. Uh, Center Point is the new name for Vectron, uh, so they're doing two sessions on gas emergencies. Um, one at 12:30 for public for the public works department. Um, which will be here in the meeting room. Mm -hmm. uh, and then one at three for firefighters and police officers. So they're free trainings um, in the villages. 
providing food so we can do a cookout for a day too. So this is uh, on natural gas. <laughs> what to do if you find well, a, what to do if you find a leak? Or yeah, for us it's emergency response information. I mean it's been a long time since I've been through one of these trainings, mm -hmm. probably twenty years. But it was interesting back then. I mean it talks about just interfacing with their crews and that kind of thing. I'm not sure what the public works section of it will be. It's probably a lot of call before you dig and that kind of thing. Um, but Fairborn Fire and Police just went through this and highly recommended it. Um, so it was very interesting. So hopefully it'll be fun. So what time is lunch? <laughs> okay, right to the point. Uh, that I'm not sure. Denny is working on coordinating that with Johnny. So maybe the two of them were just going out to lunch. Maybe that was the thing. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Johnny Burns is also going to give for any of our staff who are around for that uh, a tour of the public works facility. Because so, uh, they've got new buildings and all that kind of like that. Which is very nice. Uh, speaking of native plants, uh, we are hosting the Yellow Springs Miami Township Native Plant Extravaganza. I'm sure it was a better name than that. Uh, on April 24th here in the parking lot, like we did last year, and our Firefighters Association will be selling hot dogs. Um, and we'll have a fire truck tour. So, what time is it? Two to four, I think. That's not Thursday. No. It's Sunday the 24th. Sunday the 24th. Which is that okay? I don't, I'm not a good so I, I, don't know, I don't know which date. Margaret, like turning your hippie card. <laughs> Margaret, do you know the exact date of birthday? No. But it is worth it. I'm turning the resident hippie. Right? <laughs> 22nd. Every day is a day. <laughs> there you go. 22nd to the day. Sorry, Chris, you're <laughs> spinning did, out I of did, control. I did. Yep. What else do you do? Don't you have a smartphone? No, I think it's the 22nd. I it's not the 24th because that's Orthodox Easter. And you can't have two things the same day. So that's right. um, uh, we're also going to be holding a, a rope rescue course, a technician course in May and June uh, for staff. Uh, Captain Harris is coordinating it, and Jeremy Gray will be the lead instructor. Uh, our goal now is, since our numbers have shrunk to where they are, uh, pretty much everyone is going to be trying to do everything. We used to do, we used to do the whole like. If you'd like to do rope rescue, you can sign up. Um, yeah, those days are gone. So mm -hmm. everyone will do rope rescue. I mean, hell, I went through the class, ran it before. I think all of you were born. Well, no, probably not ten. And and you, okay, you guys are before you guys were born. Um, it's a long time ago. So if I guys have to put up with this every day, right? Every the weekday. Mm -hmm. week <laughs> I even come in on weekends sometimes just to mess with them. Yeah, weekends got a couple budget things in there. Uh, as as you know, <laughs> um, when we first built this, this building, uh, it included uh, staff and gear lockers that were then value engineered out so that, well, turned into that mystical, they were not value engineered out. Or moved to another line, how's that? They were moved to do it yourself. Right. Okay. okay. Well, so suddenly we were, Saddled with thirty-five thousand dollars of expenditure that we had planned, but um, well, it was there. I mean, it was there until we closed out the account. Where did that thirty-five thousand go? Oh, that went to markets. Huh? You wanted your fund, wasn't it? We had thirty-five thousand left in the capital fund yeah. at the end, the very end. And wherever it went, they allowed us to just put it in. The where did they let them allow us to put the it? made me transfer $115,000 well, out of the capital fund. If, if there's money still there, that would make my life so much easier then. <laughs> We'd like to spend $3,047.46, including shipping to buy staff lockers, that will be metal antimicrobial units that will be secured, which go out in the hallway from the kitchen to the bay. Um, and I think actually the original plan calls for like 36, but that's wishful thinking. <laughs> so 18 will cover us for now, and then I figure we add another unit next year mm -hmm. in case we ever get the full staff. But I, mean, I don't need a locker; I've got a closet. So, mm -hmm. so. Uh, <laughs> and then the gear lockers are going to be about 10,000 bucks. That's scaled down. The original plan called for 40 something, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is just 32, just because that's how they work in the units mm -hmm. uh, with the helmet holders and the uh, mm -hmm. jacket thing holder. 
I had understood that those were backward. So we thought originally, and uh, there apparently was a miscommunication. So yeah, that was a ship sink. Uh, <laughs> maybe they were on that uh, the container ship from Germany that held all the uh, Volkswagens and Bentleys that caught on fire and sank. Mm -hmm. I got my scoop here. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, well, I don't want to be that insurance yeah, company. I, right? I don't want to be picky, but how? I mean, we had tours where where we said that this is the gear room. They'll be. Uh, well, I think for we're the not sure when they're going to arrive. They well, the order. public, we told people that they were coming. Yo. Oh, okay. This is exciting. And there they are. Female, conscious and breathing, sharp pain Chris Klein, Devin Van Leader, and Jake Yep. Well, it was, yep. thank you for being here. For part of the <laughs> you wanted to come back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hurry. Oh, yes, What's Van Leader's first name? Yeah. Well, I think you gave me their title. That's like a lieutenant. Uh, Ted just, just got made sergeant, actually. Klein is lieutenant. He's the new full-time lieutenant. Oh, okay. He's a new guy. And Gavin and Jake are both firefighter EMTs. Thanks. You're welcome. So anyway, yeah, if there's 115,000 somewhere, that'd be great. We can just take it out of there. <laughs> but my, my proposal here was to buy the lockers just from our budget, and then if there was still money in the sale of the station funds, to get it from there, but if we have leftover from the construction budget, that would be great. So, okay, I'm going to move that. I can talk. We about authorize that. the um, department to purchase though that that equipment for the amount specified. Uh, if they are not comfortable with taking it from some fund which they don't have any extra money in, then the general fund will cover it. That's my motion. I'll second that. And the motion is second. Any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, maybe vote, please. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hoster? Yes. Mr. Reacher? Yes. Central, Medicaid 2 is responding. Medicaid 2 is responding to 1718. Thank you very much. Central, Medicaid 2 is around. I'll work with uh, Margaret for some of these kind of money. And then just wanted to give you guys some updates on some projects. Um, I met with uh, Chief Miller from Cedarville last, well, two weeks ago, and I apologize, I will give this attached priority list to you after the meeting because I forgot to attach it. Um, but we went through Station 82 and came up with a list of priorities uh, for funding for Mayor Bieri's uh, request to the county. So I've sent that to Alex, I have not heard back yet from him, but uh, it'll give him some ideas of, you know, what to talk, he was going to talk to some construction companies and get some quotes and stuff like that. So uh, we are both hopeful that his plan, or the village's plan, will work out. Any hints that the roof had been repaired, replaced? I have been told it has been done, uh -huh. but not from a hundred percent reliable source. So I'll have to double check myself. Okay. Um, so keep your fingers crossed, and I'll, I'll print that for you guys afterwards. Um, uh, we have Spectrons from uh, Penn Care for the new ambulance. Um, they called them again today and said, hey, we really need that price quote ASAP, so hopefully in the next few days. Uh, it's basically going to be the identical ambulance to Medicaid 2. Uh, like I said, works. Six years newer at this point. Medicaid 2 is 2016? Okay. That's not <laughs> So, and it'll be on state contract pricing, uh, which reminds me, the uh, gear lockers and the staff lockers are on GSA pricing, so we're getting a little bit of a break. Uh, I looked at the state of Ohio pricing for staff lockers, and they had very nice lockers that were <laughs> really nice looking, these laminate wood things with metal legs that come above them. Very artsy, but I thought, I thought better we'll go with the school looking lockers. Um, Lobby upgrades, our graphics contractor was supposed to be here today to put the wall panels in, and then I got an email saying that one of them called off sick, so they'll be here tomorrow to put the wall panels in. They're here. What? They're here. The panels? Yeah. Ted went to get them? No, no, no. Those are the photos. Those are the photos that will be on this side of the wall, the, hyster the hysterical photos. And they're here? Yes. I haven't, looked. I haven't unwrapped them yet, but... Mm -hmm. 
they're smaller than I thought they were going to be, but you know, that big. No. <laughs> and then last but not least, on the back, uh, G&G Fitness came in, evaluated their treadmill, and said, "We can't get price for this thing anymore." Uh, but they're going to give me a quote. They can replace the belt, uh, which has been slipping, but they can't guarantee that it's not going to. The motor is slipping as well. Like they don't have parts for the motor anymore, so they'll get us a quote on that. Do any of the staff actually use a treadmill? Oh yeah, yeah. The treadmill was actually our one piece. That and the stairmaster are probably the two mm -hmm. most used pieces of equipment. And I mean the weights, but those mm -hmm. are those are easy. It's hard to break. Well, I won't say it's hard to break one because there's an old saying mm -hmm. that if you lock a firefighter in a dark room with a bowling ball and come in 20 minutes later, the bowling ball will be broken in half, and the firefighter will say, "I don't know what happened." <laughs> uh, <What>? <laughs> which has happened here many times. What? <laughs> you have any idea how, how how much the old one cost? Just to frame a reference, I mean, is this five thousand, ten thousand, twenty bucks? <laughs> More than twenty. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so the price is right. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking around three thousand. Yeah. Was the price? Mm -hmm. And that was the second one. Because the first one we got in two thousand and one. That was on that federal grant that we got. Mm -hmm. um, that was replaced with this guy. Mm -hmm. you know, I think it was like three thousand. It was just. Apparently, in the commercial quality, there's the lower end and the higher end, and the lower end because of, they have a whole table that tells you if it's going to be used X amount of hours per day. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was surprised that how much it actually has been used, because, okay. Okay. which is good. I mean, the guy should be using it. That's why we yeah. have it. Yeah. We want to keep, keep up the cardio. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's just the expenditures. I had 180% forgot about that darn LGF, LGIF uh, payments. I guess we still have one. <laughs> Are we ever done with that thing? But apparently not. It looks like it goes to 23 or something, or 24. Oh, yeah, it goes away. It goes from, how was it, 10 years or something? Yeah, I guess it was. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was a six year. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, if you're wondering what that is, it's a local government innovation fund grant for loan, I guess, that Beaver Creek Township received mm -hmm. on behalf of us themselves, New Jasper, and somebody else that allowed us to fully fund the purchase of our current radio system. And it's a 0% interest loan, blah, 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 so they can pay it back. But it allowed us to make the jump to the radio system in one fell swoop. And we just heard part of it? Yes. Yeah, we're getting close to, I think we have like another year. And yeah, another we're in the like tail end. Twice a year. Oh, this payment. Uh, I think we received sixty thousand for six or seventy something like that. Uh, which definitely helped us because our cost to switch was about one hundred eight or one hundred nine thousand. So mm -hmm. worked out really well. Now we're on the state's radio system that the whole county's on, and paid a lot less than a lot of other townships. So thank you, Beaver Creek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that's it for me. And that was a ton of paperwork you didn't have to do. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you, Beaver Creek. Uh, yeah. It is nice sometimes when there are bigger townships that are willing to help out who also have six staff chiefs. <laughs> Anything else for the fire department? Okay. Um, and say thank you for inviting them, but they all have to leave. Yes. <laughs> I had a couple of things. Um, your Working on my request for uh, engine 81 repair costs. Yes. Okay. Um, I think it's probably, if it hasn't already been done, it's probably time again to replace the air filters in this operation. I will double check because I think that's set as a reminder for the guys okay. in our software, but let me check with them tomorrow. All right. If, we, not, if, if not, we'll take care of it. Yeah. Air filter for which? HVAC system. Okay. Yeah. For and these little add on gizmos that so are all that's Annual, monthly, what? Oh, it should be at the very least biannual. I don't know. You're supposed to look and see how nasty the filter is, you know, when you're replacing them. Yeah. And if it's not nasty, you give it a little more time. Yeah. And some of the units actually have, well, the ones in the uh, gym mm -hmm. tell you when they need to be replaced. Oh, really? Yeah, which is nice. Those are, they're not they're replaced, they're washed, right? I think those are the washable ones. Yes. And then the rooftop units, you look, you pull them out and look mm -hmm. and see. But I think Nate said it looks like it's about every six months. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. One in the bathroom, is that, how's that, is that replaced or, or washed? That I'm not sure. I have not done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I will, I'll tag along on this one. So okay. I'm more intimately familiar. Something I would like you to start to put together is uh, how we go about, because I've completely forgotten it every five years or four years, how we go about putting together a levy campaign for a levy. Who pays for what? We don't pay for anything because we're not allowed to pay for it. So how much money do we have for that? I will. Will that cover uh, here. signs and In the past, fires? the last two campaigns, the associate, the Firefighters Association had registered as a PAC so that they could handle that. Mm -hmm. uh, they, the, the last two campaigns, particularly the one for this one, they purchased all the, the signs, mm -hmm. um, the flyers, all that kind of stuff, and did, they, they created a campaign committee that then went out and did the door-to-door, -door, including all the houses along Marshall oh, yeah. Street. <laughs> did a good job there. <laughs> Except for one, apparently. Yeah, uh, so I will um, talk with Jeremy. Mm -hmm. He's treasurer, so and he handled all the paperwork. Mm -hmm. I, I think they just maintain that as a course of, I mean, knowing that they're going to have to do it mm -hmm. every few years. Yeah. So, but I will get with Jeremy. And okay. Find out. I may have to get with Alex because yeah. he was involved, intimately involved with it last time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. He I mean, it's, it's not something we have to. No. crank up yet, but I'd like to have the pieces in place when yeah. the time comes. Yeah, I'll just make sure they're still registered and that Jeremy's got all the paperwork in place. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they had closed it down because of the once or twice a year reports that are required even though you're not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll get with him because don't know anything. I stay out of that because I'm not supposed to mm -hmm. yeah. be in it. Right. Anything else for the fire department? Nope. Thank you very much, Colin. You are very welcome. Appreciate it. Cemetery ish report. Since the last meeting, we had two burials, both were in Clifton. We buried in life on Wednesday, the 23rd, and buried on Friday, this past Friday. Oh. Yeah. Right. Um, you now have a light on the column bearing area. It will cost us $10 a month. But that's how it is. No matter how much you're going to get, it's It's on photo line. Well, we have to pay $10 as a minimum now. So, well, they're adding $10 to our bill. They're going to add yeah, $10 charge every month for this yeah. light. Okay. And they wired it in, so I'll see if it works tonight. Okay. It's on photo line, so it'll come on. It's aimed right at the column bearing area. Do you have a discussion about boxing the building? Electric? Yeah. Yes. Uh, have to go to the building department and get a permit, mm -hmm. and then have to submit to them the plan of what we were doing and how it's laid out. So I have to have somebody electrical do that for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not electricians. Mm -hmm. So I have to go down to the building department and get a permit. And then submit something before we can do anything. Okay. No, you know, no big priority, you know, that's a good rainy day sort of thing. Well, yeah, you know, I have to get that done before we can do it. And then we're going to have material lists, is what they want submitted. I'll have somebody with a wire it, mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. We'll get the material and do it, and that works up. Mm -hmm. okay. The meter will go on the building. Yeah. And they can't put it on the pole. Yeah. Uh, your rocks have been moved. They're just moved up by the fence, but I don't know where else to do them for now. Are you talking about the rocks on the natural burial sites? Like mm -hmm. And then if there's any questions, have them call me. Okay. I mean, don't. Well, I haven't talked to anybody. About okay, but if you, if but somebody I'll, calls us, it's worth their rocks or whatever. I'll be notified somehow. Yeah. And move the rocks. Yeah. Why haven't we called you? And then we have a burial Wednesday in the natural. Uh -huh. that mm -hmm. Wow. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby. 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 I just met with her the other day. And then we bought two, two spaces. 
Do you know who that is, please? Mm -hmm. Do I? No. Yeah. Columbus got one. <laughs> Just basically called me out of the blue one day and called Dan the next day and used it. I met with him the next day. She said, oh, maybe within a year. So the natural oh, wow. burial is an attraction. It's very popular. I mean, they're kind of like Columbus. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody. I think there'd be something in between them. It's Tuesday. I need somebody to sell a grave. I got another call from a local gentleman at 4 o'clock today. He wants to meet my food from that. I don't know. 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 What's the theoretical capacity? There's probably him. For the natural area. That's 25, I think. Um, but when we open the one behind it, the oak grove, which will also be natural, but not laid out like this one, there will be a zillion. Because they will be small. They will be like 5 by 10, something like that. Um, and we've got six acres of open, open land to fill. So. Get a lot of them. Yeah. Will there be a path? Will there be a walkway? Well, yes. Okay. Yeah. The same thing, different configuration or something? Well, I haven't um, seen the plan, so I don't know. Really there is no plan. That's the problem. We got, we got, I'm waiting for the surveyor after six months to, to make up the plan. He may not make the plan yet, but I, I want the 40 pins for the, for, the, for the trees designed where they go and pinned at least what areas we have. Well, I'd we like to have to know that for our layout, right? Your trees, you need to know where they're going to go for your layout. Yeah, right. I'd like to have them at least do the, the first and second third that you're working on. That's why I've been pushing you to get that second third. Pushing you? Pushing you. Just a little. It goes like this. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. That's <laughs> okay. So to do that, that's what I'm calling for. But it is your question, we will have lots of space. So I hear there's an expansion, that's what you're saying. There's going yes, to be yeah. an expansion mm -hmm. of the natural area. Yeah, remember, I thought we talked about it, but say there's just six acres, mm -hmm. and if there's going to be, I believe, six rows of eight trees. Approximately 40. They'll be about 80 feet apart, which is the canopy of a full grown white oak tree after 100 years or so. That's the white oak you were talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we will sell a tree, we'll sell the gravesite. The person will be, um, will be buried, and then approximately a year later, accounting for a settlement. Can't put a tree right on top of it because it'll settle the gold. Maybe one doesn't settle. About a year later, maybe six months, I don't know, I'm just throwing numbers out there, then there'll be a tree planted on top of them, and they are welcome to put a full size headstone, a marker, or something, whatever they want. But there'll be, it'll be a square, there'll be a square around the center of the tree, and the four sides will be grave sites, but only, but three of them will be only for um, ashes, and, and only the one with the tombstone will be the body underneath the tree, because we don't want to dig close to the tree, we don't want to disturb those, those roots at the time, at when the time comes. So it's going to be a different model than the prairie model. Yes, um, yeah, quite a bit different. So it will require a foundation for this thing. Yep. It's not natural. That's right. There's a backhoe. So. Semi natural. I don't know. I, no, no, I take that back. It can be natural. It's natural goes under the ground. Anything going under the ground must be biodegradable. Right. We never said anything about on top of the ground. I don't put foundation in now. I know you don't. It's because we don't have anything big enough to require a foundation. Technically, concrete came from the earth, from the limestone, from the sea life. There you go. What a trusty. She's a, she's Are we trying right. to make this meeting longer than... No. I'm the one who started asking. <laughs> Can I ask one more thing? You, you, some stones are being removed, and I noticed on the website you have very specific dimensions of the stone. Mm -hmm. the 12 area. by 18. Is that something that Three people have to read? To, they should, yeah. they should, they should read. read. 
And lots of them apparently don't. That's yeah. the problem. Well, even after you talk with them, they oh, can't. talk with them too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I tell everybody I meet with, you know, everybody I talk to, explain this to them. Yeah, and yeah. there's one that really you need to address that's got little whirly gigs and. Is that close to your studies? Yeah, and that's in my opinion. We've talked with her several times. <sighs> okay. Table. Yep. What else we got? Let's see. <clears throat> um, did you have any luck with grave rumors? No. All right, I, I don't think they're active. I, don't, I didn't get any response from them. I left two messages. You number. had a phone number? I mean, you had a contact number? Yeah, I number. Card. I called oh. I left a message. I haven't got any yeah. call back or mixer. Well, okay. his voicemail. I thought he said he was thinking about giving it up, so he might have. Mm -hmm. But then he said the other might take it over. I haven't made any contact with him. Mm -hmm. With the other? Whatever the other is? Well, to my report. Oh, well, I see. Might oh, carry I see. On. The great rooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, well, try, I'll try it again, you know, I just keep giving messages and hopefully they call me back. Apparently there are other good, and, you know, good people doing the work. So, you know, it's not like it's them or nothing. So. Well, I mean, if we like them, they have yeah, I know. That's right. You know. uh, well, it's been down in Florida. Jimmy, yeah, I can ask Jimmy Pyle. They had somebody working for them. They weren't 100% with him, but you know, he had done the job for them. So. Mm -hmm. But I can ask who that was. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Well, if you, you know, yeah, when you feel like giving up on Walt or whatever his name was. Walt. Or, um, I asked you the other day and you said you didn't know where the new dump truck is. No, I haven't heard anything. Would you either call Bo Townsend or call, what's his name, Eric Rose, see if either of them have the truck? It would just be nice to know where it is. Okay. I can do that. Who did you talk to Townsend? I have his name. It may be on the piece of paper. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Did, did I say at the last meeting that the, the, the raw material for the columbarians is now in the U.S.? Yes. Okay. Right. I wasn't sure whether that was in between. Or I thought you did. I'm pretty sure you said something about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. It was on land, it was off the ship. Yeah. Anything else for the cemetery? Nope. Had any conversation with Roger, just in general? I mean, did he show up? Did he say, hey, I'm seeing you. Dan, how you doing? Okay. Well, that's all he was doing. Try to get in last week to get some mowing or something. Or something. Um, Chip seal numbers? Got them all. Got blacktop chip seal. Did your blacktop include your receipt there? I think so. I'll have to let you know. I, I put it, is there going to be a pre-call meeting? Or a, uh, that's usually it, hasn't, it hasn't been set. She's got some April 8th. Uh, I've got it right here. She's got some April 8th deadline for either for questions or to add anything. Well, that's why I want to know. Could we take it out? Does it have the prices? Uh, yeah. Because it was on my list about so trying to read it in the footage, but it wasn't a definite, but it was on the list. So I needed, basically needed to add that in the pre con But she knows about it. They didn't want to do some painting in the cemetery. And I give her the dimension of the link, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. It should be listed on ours if it is. That reminds me, is, is Hensley doing the full depth? I don't know. Okay. Did you find out? I mean, I could call and ask him, but I didn't know if you had it worked out. It doesn't look like our full. <clears throat> this only has five. Am I misunderstanding this? Oh, this is only for asphalt. This is not for oh. chip seal. Oh, okay. I'm just, just wondering if these, if these prices look surprising or not. Because I had heard that they were going up a lot. Yeah, two bucks going to okay. They've got us down for paving or asphalt two different types for two different products. Well, this is the quantity, that's not dollars. Pavement mill. What is that dollars? 
Is this, but, is this uh, dollars? This is the charge. 50 feet of mill. I think you're gonna have to look at the next page, because my what's anyway, my, quantity over here. my basic question? Right, they've got us down for are we pavement milling? We're not milling anything. That's me. That's this is this, this is, is fifty. Right here. This is mill butt joint. That's where they start. They, they do butt joint to start. So you get a smooth transition. That's fifty feet of that. That's what that's about. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what this seven thousand eight hundred feet of milling is. We're not having any milling there. That's a lot of feet. That's a lot. That milling is when they peel the asphalt off before they pave. We're not doing that. We're just overlay. You said straight. I tried to open up the file on my computer. This is for journalism. This is for, for update. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to have Outlook or whatever. Hey, no, no, Outlook. That's for Office. I thought you, you have Office. Well, I like that. Right, but not the update. I have I have Office. This is the same thing. I've got HL in there. Okay. That's that. $80 a ton. That's, that's a good price. They've got you down 54000 to fill more, and that's for Brian Parker, I'm not sure, because J.R. Jordan was 63 back. Oh, so my basic good. question is, are the, are the prices, yeah, whatever you they're good on that, that's a good price, they could be low, because they were talking about 110 a ton, but mm -hmm. that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I should call her and find out if everything's full of anything. Can I keep this? Yeah. Okay, that's for the pay for Okay. The chip seal's not this is chip seal on here too? I think it's gonna come in separately. Yeah. Did Chris, Hensley get the chip seal? Oh well, we're not hundred percent. She sent a message. I'm surprised it's not in there. It might be in there there and nobody looked at it. Sorry to um, that she knew people were unhappy with Ally who put it down last year. They did it again this year. And they did it again this year and they were the low bidder this year. And so she was asking us, everybody, us, do we recommend going with them or whoever the next one was or something? And I said, eh. Yeah, I talked to her about that. You know, I had a couple other council people and asked what I thought because they had been asked to and we all agreed. Yeah, okay. So that's where we are. This is time to Okay, I'll get this figure out. This is our time. 7,000. I'm going to call for it. Okay. Anything else, road-wise? I, I looked at all your roads yesterday. Everything looked nice. Um, there's... Somebody had said something about sign down. Ooh. What's that? The email coming, but somebody said the sign came down. Yeah, that was, that was in... Um, New Jack or oh, that was at Med River. Med River Township. That's not a, it's a crazy. In the in the mill parking lot, there's a old telephone pole. Yeah, I'll take those. Okay, take them. Yeah, the people. Yeah, that's okay. why I wanted to, I wanted to replace it with the rocks around there. Mm -hmm. It won't be this year, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Maybe later in the year or something. Mm -hmm. But I'll make those disappear. Okay. They're falling apart anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay, does that do it? Uh, I think so. Any else for the road? Any roads you want paid? <laughs> no. Nope. No. Thank you very much, Dan. You're welcome. Um, Brandon doing all right? Yes, sir. We learn with you every day. This box of report? I have none. That was a, that's a mistake. We did that last week. I mean, last week. Oh. Okay. Okay. We, do, we do have a tabled motion that I questioned last meeting, and I'm ready to go ahead with. The resolution, the ACH thing? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that fit with the fiscal officer's report? It do. It does. And uh, apparently, from the minutes, I made the motion. Uh, I don't remember what Robert's Rules of Order says, but I'd like to bring it, I'd like to move that we bring it back to the table. There it is, right there. Okay. So, we have a motion, you say. 
Yeah, I'll read it this time. <clears throat> Whereas it is a now common practice for many financial institutions and mistresses to offer direct deposits and debits from bank accounts. Therefore, Miami Township, Green County, Ohio authorizes the Green County Auditor and the Green County Treasurer here in actor called Auditor, Auditor Treasurer to deposit and issue debits to the township's U.S. bank account effective upon adoption of this resolution. That is the resolution number 17. And I had already moved that and who seconded it? I don't think we ever got this second. Yeah, you did. We did? Yeah, you did. Well, you moved and he seconded it and then you went into discussion. Okay. And, you know, you okay. moved and seconded for the sake of getting into discussion. Yeah, and seconded by Mooch. Then it was tabled. Hollister expressed some concern and asked to table discussion for further consideration. Anyway, my concern to talk to um, Graham, what's his name? David. David, David Graham, uh, and he satisfied me. So, okay. Uh, may we vote, please? There's no further discussion. Sure. Ms. Moyer? Yes. No, she wasn't here. But now we can vote. She can vote. Oh, that's right. You brought it back on the table. So it's active. I see her. She's okay, it's over here. Her is <laughs> off the table. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Mucher. Yes. Okay. Okay. All set. Yeah. And I know. Um, I note that you already signed it. Well, Make sure it's official. All right, we're gonna we're gonna break here since our audience is, has returned. Uh, how'd the run go? Okay. They lost somebody though. Oh, he's doing all the report stuff. Oh, I thought you meant that. Oh, no, no, no. Like, We've even gone for a little, a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you don't mind, I'd like to start with Ted and work our way down and tell us something about yourself, Ted. Uh, well, tell us your likes, your dislikes. <laughs> tell us about your family life. Tell us about your pets. Tell us about your. Oh, you've Lord. been here a million years. <laughs> your million years that you've Let been talk. here. Talk. Tell, tell us what you <laughs> think of Firehouse Leadership. <laughs> Um, I know what he thinks, I just, he knows what side his brain is better about now. I think I uh, started here in 1997 as a volunteer, and then uh, worked part-time, and I work full-time here. Uh, I have two kids who are college age. I lived in Yale Springs about 20 years, and then last year we moved to Xenia uh, to buy a house. I remember when those two kids were there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I love doing this job. I like working here. I like the people I work with. It's a good group. I do a good team. Uh, but you see race dirt bikes or anything? No, I don't have any really exotic hobbies. Uh, that'd be cool though if you did race dirt bikes. <laughs> but yeah, I guess slowly like working in our house is kind of a side pocket. So. It can be a permanent project, take it. Take it. <laughs> That it? Yeah, that's, that's all I really think of right now. <laughs> well, you sound like a well-rounded <laughs> fireman, EMP. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for your service. Marilyn, you have a question for Ted? No, I don't. Nice to meet you, Ted. Nice to meet you. Val, do you have your mandatory question for Ted? I already asked it. You did? Yeah, how long did you been? Oh. Here you see that. Yeah. What year did your kids graduate? From where? From y Yellow Springs High School? Did they, graduate? they went to Yellow Springs for a while and then they went to Stivers. Okay. Yeah, high school. Chris? Tell us about mm -hmm. yourself. <laughs> it's like you're going to be all over again. <laughs> so, actually, the name's Charles Klein. Uh, I do go by Chris mostly just because my father and I have the same first and last name. Uh, I'm a fourth generation fireman, uh, so it kind of runs in the blood. Um, so I'm also, let's see, where to start? Started in the, I'm basically same year, started in 97 just like Ted did, except I started with the city of Trotwood as a volunteer. Got volunteer experience for a couple years where I became uh, a firefighter EMT, um, and then grew into pretty much the love of the job and started pursuing on how to better myself and, and further my career. 
Um, I did uh, all this uh, while eventually, uh, so went from Trywood to Harrison Township, uh, actually where my parents were volunteers at, at well, from when I was younger, and was there for a little while, um, had always had big goals, always wanted to better myself, uh, so I saw an opportunity to go to uh, the basin, so I'd go to the right pack, did a few years there, and then had an opportunity to get uh, big, what I call big city experience, and went down to Atlanta, Georgia. That's big city, um, yeah. Worked, uh, I actually worked with DeKalb County on the outside of it. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. It was 543 square miles, 26 stations, so it was the same type of experience. Uh, Stayed down there for a little while. Um, I am married with two kids. My wife and I are actually high school sweethearts. Uh, at which point, when I did make the decision to move down there, she uh, okayed it and came with me. Um, <clears throat> my oldest is in college currently at Wright State. He's actually in the military, enlisted in the National Guard, and he is currently finishing up his second year of ROTC and pursuing his. Uh, commencement to second lieutenant. Um, my youngest one actually turned 16 in two weeks. Uh, so he's my next handful. Um, but he is actually one of the reasons uh, I was actually put on delay for working here. Um, so when he was nine, we actually got him into hockey at Hobart Arena, uh, just as a trial, see how he liked it. He fell in love with it. Well, after a few years, it came down to, uh, I just kept seeing how excited this kid was. And, um, if it was a practice day, this kid was jumping out of bed and he was out the door before anybody else. And just his love of the sport and excitement and everything else kind of started to draw me towards it. And then the coaches, so we would get to be friends and then the coaches, we'd start doing parent-kid games. and. and so I'd get out on the ice and, and eventually his love for the game transferred over to me, which then started last year playing in the adult league and unfortunately had a hiccup in uh, at the end of November and snapped my uh, fit, lower fibula, um, which by all means was my own fault. <laughs> Just. Look, at that point, I looked like Bambi when I went on the ice, and it was over from there. But um, it's always been a goal of mine, uh, just doing this job and pursuing uh, higher education. I do carry an associate's degree in fire science. I currently just graduated with a bachelor's degree in fire management. Um, and just like I told the chief, pretty much my end goal is... Uh, Plan on being out by 62, but I want his job. <laughs> so uh, it, it's always been my passion and, and to basically bring these younger guys and the kids up and help them become basically to where I am. I mean, it's always a good thing with the fire services and older firemen to get a younger fireman to where they are. Too many times do we have injuries and uh, other things that happen that take a fireman's life at way too young. Uh, so the whole idea is to try to correct that by educating them, training them, and pretty much all around uh, treating this as it, as it always has been in the fire service. This is a second family. Mm -hmm. You know, we we will do many many things together. We spend a third of our lives together here at the firehouse. Uh, so for me, my wife, my family, they all understand, we know. So we'll, we'll do, it'll be my plan to do like many more barbecues, especially as the summer comes up. We'll do get togethers and have family outings and kind of keep that bond together. And it, it always, especially as an officer, you know, I definitely want to get to know the not only the personnel, but then their significant others and children and stuff like that. So the, the same thing as, as people grow and, and move on is if people have kids, you know, you watch them and watch them raise and born and move on. So it's uh, 
Other than that, it's, it's been great so far being out here. I love the atmosphere. Um, obviously, it has slowed down for me a little bit coming from Harrison Township. Bit, I'm sure, yeah. Uh, which uh, is a handful. Um, well, when you're an old guy, you know, there's nothing wrong it's with a, it. Little, little yeah, but, or as I told my wife, it's kind of hard to accept the fact that I've gotten to this age. Like, I keep trying to tell <laughs> I'm not that old right now. Uh, the unfortunate part is, well, my kid in college and my younger ones at driving age, yes I am, and I just got to accept the fact that, <laughs> well, she's right, but I'll keep arguing that one. Yeah, we didn't get to be college age, huh? it's uh, all about hell. Sure. <laughs> Hopefully one day. Any, uh, any other hobbies other than, than hockey, you know, uh, mountain climbing? Yeah, so I'll, we'll go out, we'll do... Uh, uh, bike riding, we'll do uh, vacations as we can. Um, the biggest thing for us and our family, or my family, is uh, family time. We spend a lot with uh, family in the area that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we live in Huber, her parents live in Huber, the uh, rest of her family lives in Riverside, so we, we tend to definitely have a big family bond. We do a lot of family events and, and family travels. and. So that, that's the, the big uh, upside for us. Um, we actually got uh, one of her nephews getting ready to play baseball, so we'll be hanging out on the baseball field to support him and uh, her brother. And, and like I said, it's, for us, it's family oriented. That's, that's, that's nice. what it's all about. Yeah. That's great. Um, before I turn it over, it's, it made me think, uh, I, I worked for a couple years in, in Trotwood 20 years ago or whatever. It's the friendliest town I've ever been in. Everybody I met was so nice and friendly, and I don't know you what know, it was. Something in the water, I don't know. It, you know, growing up, it, it really was. Um, I'm actually originally from Harrison Township. Uh, graduated in Dayton Public Schools at Metadale. Uh, but when I got on at Trotwood, it started out, the department was great. But the downside was when the Salem Wall went, yeah. the, the livelihood, the kindness, and everything else kind of started a downhill trend. Mm -hmm. So now it's kind of one of those where it's, if I can avoid passing through it, I will <laughs> type deal. I I, it, it's definitely not what I grew up in. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's kind of a shame because mm -hmm. It was a very good place. It was a prospering place. It was growing big time, and it just went completely downhill. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of hard to talk about because it, it was such, like you, said, like you said, it was such a great place. Everybody was nice. It was great. And loved it, and then it just mm -hmm. tanked from there. And, uh, All right, well, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> then really? by tornadoes. Hmm? Then Trotwood got hit by tornadoes, yeah. right? Yeah, the tornado kind of. Devastated between Trotwood and Harris. Harrison took the big hit on it. Mm -hmm. um, as we said, we kind of laugh about it though. It missed every apartment complex in Harrison. <laughs> Got all the housings, missed all the apartment complex because I, obviously, for you know, um, income rules, apartments aren't really where it's at. It's the mm -hmm. houses, so mm -hmm. could have took those out and put more houses in. Okay. <laughs> Didn't quite do that one. Question? No, it's Done? 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 Margaret, welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. Jake? The floor uh, is yours. What, what was that? The floor is yours. Oh, boy. Uh, Jake Rich. Um, been an EMT for two years. A fireman for like five months. Yeah, five months. Um, originally from Kentucky. Um, I lived in Cincinnati for the past like six years. Um, I lived in a tiny house downtown, just fun. Uh, moved up here right after COVID started. Um, got married like four months ago up in John Bryan. It was Aww. cool, very hippie. Um, <laughs> uh, and I, I think you I am. If you didn't see John Bryan in the 1970s, you're not hippie. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that, a bit, a little bit before my time. <laughs> um, uh, I think I applied to volunteer here like a couple weeks before I moved up here. So we, we came up to visit and I applied. I volunteered here for like a solid year, like every, every uh, 
third day I was here um, volunteering, and then I got hired on part time when I got my fire part. So I've been here um, ever since. I love it here. I um, I don't want really want to work at any other department. Really, I've grown to love it just being here all the time. I live like 20 seconds away too, so that's nice. But yeah, it is nice I um, yeah, I love this love this town. That's the whole reason we moved up here. Um, I don't have any kids or anything. I've got two cats. Two cats. Yeah. And a wife. Yeah. <laughs> any hobbies? You like to travel? Um, I want I want to travel more. Mm -hmm. Um, I do a lot of hiking. I, I kickbox. That's the big thing. I do a lot, of, a lot of MMA boxing yeah. and stuff. Um, I'm doing that a lot. Uh, I'm a writer too. I haven't done that nearly as much, but um, I, I used to go to school for it, so I'm trying to get back into that. Um, Books, magazines. Uh, a little bit of everything. Graffiti. So when I was a oh, not graffiti yet. Um, but I, um, I my degree was in technical writing, so I, I wrote like uh, instruction manuals for things. Mm -hmm. But I also did script writing. I actually helped write a pilot for a TV show that was on Netflix. Um, and I've sold poetry, stuff like that. There's a little bit, little bit of everything. Yep. Um, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Any question? Yeah, a couple. Okay. <laughs> One is, do you find that if, because fire, especially at a slower station, there's a lot of downtime? Do you see is that conducive to writing? Or not really? It is. Um, when I'm not distracting myself. With things that are less productive than writing, you know. Right, we are. Yeah. And the other said, you live 20 seconds from here? Are you my neighbor? Uh, I live in the, uh, the Hawthorne Place apartments. Okay. Like, yeah. Right, right, right down right there. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. Yeah. Are you the one that keeps her up at night? Mm -hmm. yeah. Loud music? Or oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, very reckless. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but I actually, I have been able to do a lot more writing and reading here on the downtime. It has been nice having like a, a quiet space. Yeah. Done? No, but uh, I'd like to be a writer. Too late, Done. Here, break this. Oh, done. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? No? Well, we certainly are glad that you took the time this evening between your, your runs to come and see us. Uh oh, certainly what are you doing? I'm leaving. No. <laughs> <laughs> A very minor token of, token of our appreciation, Ted. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, what if I have my pocket? I have those too. For you. Thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. It. All right. No moving back now. <laughs> uh, how I move or the water tells me. No, you don't get one. Like a very small token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Ted, I've known you, but it's nice to meet you guys. Yeah, it is. Sure. Thinking about yeah. guys doing things. You know. <laughs> get a fire, get a fire truck. Imagine you you yeah. are uh, excused, or you're welcome to stay, or whatever you'd like to do, but uh, we've kept you long enough. We've got to order dinner. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Good to hear more about your yep. stories. Be safe. Will you see the Yeah. 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 And he had said, oh, it's going to be quick, don't worry, I'm like, well, I've heard that before, you mm -hmm. know, six hours later. And, uh, you know, we're all sitting there, they got married at the day lodge at John Bryan at the ceremony, and we're all kind of like, oh, there's got to be new one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> there was a little bit of cake, and then he was like, all right, well, you know, let's go home, but you can't stay here, see you. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> day, day lodge is a nice little, it's nice it was a nice place. place. Yeah. yeah, for five minutes. Yeah, yeah, it was a very nice, quick ceremony, still very, very heartfelt, very sweet. They're all good guys, so. Yeah, yeah. Are there any other former Explorer Scouts besides Gavin? Yes. Currently we have sure, Nick. Gavin and Nick Miller Jacobson. They're from what? Explorers. Oh, and Peyton Cooper. Uh, Peyton Cooper's also, uh, he's in the class currently, and he was an Explorer with us as well. 
Margaret, did you have anything else for you? Uh, mm -hmm. For my, re uh, my report? Mm -hmm. No, I just wanted to just let you know that we did get um, a check from Otarma to, towards the hail damage, uh, the Clifton oh. Mill hail damage. Grinnell Mill hail damage. Oh. Grinnell Mill, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was the difference between. Yeah, it was a lot. It was less than $2,000, yeah. but I just let you know that. Okay, you know, thank you. You could get that. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, anything else for Margaret? Marilyn? Todd? Have you heard from uh, our prosecutor, Ashley Caldwell, on your question the last meeting? No, I haven't. Um, I, I've been looking. I, can't, I haven't found the actual, the paragraph, whatever, that, you know, talks about what, um, what we were talking about. Okay. You know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been able to get that to her because I can't, I've been looking online, I can't find it. Oh, she's waiting on you, or you're not waiting yeah. on her? No, yeah. Yeah, she's waiting on me. Okay. All right, we'll move to the zoning inspector's report. Richard? Oh. I hope he's okay. It's not like him to miss this. Yeah. Oh, yes. Every once in a while, he does. Once a year. I, Did he get his chest he may have gone to see his daughter already. I thought it was in a week or so. I don't think he's leaving until he had this. Yeah, um, I don't think so either. Um, I told you, I gave you dates. I think he's leaving the Sunday. He's going to be back on um, Brighter. Yeah, the 20th. Something like that, yeah. I think he's going to the 25th or something. That's what he told me. He's got a VZA hearing scheduled for. Yeah, yeah there's a hearing on the 28th. Uh, there's a, another request. What is this? The third, third request by um, Township Resident uh, to allow performances in his, he calls pavilion. You mean you're talking about what we looked at, the recent communication? Yeah. Yeah. And so the, B the BZA will convene again to hear that request on the 28th, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, so the 28th is for that. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got right. that scale. Yeah. And, uh, I'll make sure we have parking available. The door can. Um, Could be. I don't know. I don't know. They, they, were, they were. They weren't super pleased with the communication and scheduling. Mm -hmm. Because of the had he been here, we could have straightened that out, but uh, he's not, so we'll do that yeah. for the next time. Um, because there's conflicting, as every, I swear, every BZA hearing that is, has involved this situation has had the most conflicting information between the parties that you can, you can imagine. So, we'll see how this one Can goes I out. ask one question that you might, I think you might know the answer to? Seen a lot in 20 years. On the 28th, there will be a quorum, but, but all five members won't be there. Correct. There will be four. Uh -huh. And I think the last <coughs> one we had was a 3 2 decision, the last BZA this we had. Mm -hmm. What happens if there's a 2 2 decision? It fails. Ties, ties are fails. I also wanted to let you know in zoning, uh, the, the zoning training is either Wednesday or the following Wednesday. Yeah, I think the, the initially they said um, that original one you sent and gave to me, it said the 6th and the... the 6th and the 7th, which is the makeup yeah. day. Uh -huh. But then they, I, I, read, I was reading something where it said we're going to do it every 2nd and 4th Wednesday. And cool. so I thought, well, they must have made a mistake on this one. And so I, I kind of made plans. But um, then I saw another copy, another website. They made that change to the 13th and the, whatever, 13th and 14th is, the well, 27th. So. I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed since I'm the chairman of regional planning that I don't even know about these things. But I guess they decided to leave me off of I don't know rules. who made, I mean, I, I was kind of disappointed. I was already to go this week, mm. and I might have to change something for the next time. But I, I was actually looking last night for some sort of evidence that maybe the original, like it, right here it is right here. Mm. Yeah. And um, yeah, a, la a later version of it has it on the 13th. Okay. 13th to 27th rather than the 6th and the 20th. Mm -hmm. 
But now it makes me wonder about May, because <laughs> May 4th, you know, yeah. they're saying the second and fourth Wednesday, so I don't know. I'll, I'll check out the website. Well, apparently it's worth going to. I, I'll check it out. I felt yes. the one I went to was worth going. Yes. Okay. In new business this evening? The old business is in Kingwood. The old business in Kingwood. General. No, no, no new news. That is, there will be. There's scheduled two more hearing days in late April. Hmm. I don't know the exact dates, mm -hmm. uh, but to my knowledge, only one person is scheduled to be, uh, they don't call it cross-examination, but it's like crossing. Um, you mean from this group or, or just in the, the whole the, the only people on the list are staff of the power siding board. Mm -hmm. uh, it would appear that uh, Kingwood uh, attorney uh, is trying to uh, document uh, contact between the staff and uh, citizens and, uh, and the local governments mm -hmm. uh, with the implication that that's inappropriate, mm -hmm. but that's sort of the purpose yeah. is to communicate uh, um, but the gears are slowly turning. They do that. Do you have any old business now? No, but I was going to say the YS Climate Action and Sustainability Group was having their inaugural meeting, you know, as a special as a, a group of the village, they have a funded group of the village tomorrow. Yay, so in our next meeting where the standing committee reports are given, you'll have all kinds of information. At least introductions, introductory Good. information. We'll be looking forward to it. Uh, the only other old business I had was we have reached an agreement, the township has reached an agreement with, with, with Glenn Helen to take over the management of the township, the foundation, however you want to do it. It's nebulous at this point to take over the management of the mill on a five-year uh, lease. The draft lease that I sent out to you guys to review uh, is substantial, other than a, a word or two, uh, a spelling, uh, they're substantially the same one that the final one is. Um, <clears throat> I have a clean copy of the final one, which I will, will print out and, and distribute, but I don't have it with me. But anyway, we are looking at a May 1 turnover date. Okay. Uh, in between then and now, there's a few things that have to be done. There has to be a complete inventory of all uh, of the bed and breakfast paraphernalia, all the uh, equipment, all the consumables, the towels, the soap, the cups, the saucers, the this, the that, all of those things have to be inventory. And there also has to be a complete inventory of every item in the mill, uh, all the furniture, the fixtures, the uh, appliances, the wow. pictures on the wall, the, the grindstones, the this, that, and the other thing. Everything that's not nailed down or, or came, came with the mill from rising from the plains had, has to be inventory and then given to the, uh, given to the Glen because in case there's something that happens then we both have I this is but is either missing or broken or something. So that, that hopefully we'll get that done, um, and and then and then actually sign the agreement. Uh, it, it is unsigned. Oh, there also needs to be a working agreement between the mill manager Susie Butler uh, and the Glen. Uh, the Glen is very uh, very much 
in favor of keeping her in a position the way it is um, oh. for the amount that she makes on it. But they, they have to come to an agreement because, <clears throat> and that agreement now is obviously with, between them and Susie and not, not us. Oh, so. I thought Susie wanted to quit that. Did well, she change her mind? That would be surprised to <laughs> is, is, is this a good point to ask a stupid question? Uh, give me one sec before you ask a stupid question. The, 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 the conversations I had with her, she was extremely willing to stay on. I Apparently, only heard from you or somebody that yeah, you know, she's quitting. I thought, who's going to want to work with It's back. Gavin's too shy to ask for his gift card, so he's been walking to that hallway. So I told him he'll have to wait five minutes until he texted me. Is it cute? <laughs> he's going to spend it right now. Uh, so, okay, there's the answer, and now question. There are no stupid questions. Do All these stupid answers are something like that. Yes, we do. Okay. We own the, we own the structure. Okay. We lease the property that it's on from former Antioch College, former Antioch University, and, and now, now we, Glen Helen for 99 years. So we still have a few years left. But they're taking over the management. Mm -hmm. The day-to-day -day operation. And really, Susie did the day-to-day -day operation. She did the... Yeah, well, yeah, since there really was nothing else going on except for the bed and breakfast and an occasional quilting, quilting club, uh, soiree, and used to be weddings every once in a while. I think I they still had them there. That's right. But, but she, she wasn't on our staff. She just... No. She worked for, she worked for the, or works for the Grinnell Mill Bed and Breakfast okay. Foundation. Oh. Which is a whole subsidiary, wholly owned subsidiary of the Grinnell Mill Foundation. Grinnell Mill Foundation is a not for profit foundation. The Grinnell Mill Bed and Breakfast Foundation is a for profit foundation. And it feeds its profits into the into the um, uh, into the Grinnell Mill Foundation as contributions, not as rent or any of those things. Uh, there's only a certain amount of money that they can, I think it's 25% of the yearly operating funds can, of the, of the bed and breakfast can be contributed to the foundation, which they have done for, for quite a while. All of those are going to go away. Both the Grinnell Mill Foundation and the Grinnell Mill Bed and Breakfast Foundation will be dissolved oh. after the um, uh, transfer of management oh. to the to the Glen. Okay. Now, do, what? who owns it? Is, you said that we, you mean as in the township, owns the building? Yes, correct. But not the land. But not the land. Correct. When did we acquire that building? Do we get a do we have like a certificate of something or other? Sure. Or oh yeah, we had a whole file full of lease agreements and bill of sales from Antioch and all kinds of official that stuff. Was your first How much did we pay for? Pardon? Do we pay for that? I think we paid him a buck. I was gonna say I don't remember what kind of check for that. Mm -hmm. I think I think I just pulled out a soft buck and it's very okay, okay. handed to Glenn. Yeah, okay. Glenn that's Watts. why I don't really remember the purchase. <laughs> I don't believe I got like, a receipt, but I don't remember <laughs> supposed to be that official. building. <laughs> Okay, move on. Yeah, okay. It's old news, but I'm catching up. It, it is under old news. That's right. Good job. I mean, well, I, anyway. All right. Any further old news? Yes. All right. Uh, I just wanted to confirm. A year ago, two years ago, we appropriated four thousand dollars for trees, landscaping, uh -huh. and we've spent. We put in four trees. Uh -huh. How much roughly was that? Two or four hundred dollars, one of the two. The e two each was two hundred dollars. We didn't, did we put it? No, we didn't. I have no, I have no idea. Each was like a hundred and fifty. Did you put it on a credit card? No, he built us. Okay, well, that gives me a sense of. Um, 
I just want to largely repeat what I said two weeks ago. Uh, I'm planning to go ahead and plant native sedge in the the basin area uh, that is this will be perennial, uh, not growing real tall, uh, and it's sort of tiptoeing into native plants in there, in that, but not trying to do you know twelve thousand dollars all at once. But, um, so the, there'll be plugs planted. I don't know how far. What whatever the nursery guy says, how far apart, uh, and then will gradually spread. Um, and in looking at the prices, I'm a little startled. So you don't have to tell me during the meeting, but I'm looking for wholesalers for native plants, which I know you've got for the uh, natural barrier area. So. Yeah, that was in Indiana. I'd have to think that out. Think that out. Well, I've got a long list of Ohio ones. Yeah, probably one very close. Because this was for grasses, I don't think that's true. Grasses and wildflowers. Anyway, I'm, I'm assuming I can just proceed with that. So, day by day. Colin? We were actually going to make the cranberries and turn it into a bog. <laughs> might be able to do that. Well, I come. I'm glad you brought this up, actually, because I forgot that I wanted to ask permission to purchase four native Ohio redbud trees and put two here and two there. I love a redbud. Since we have, I think those yeah. are good ideas. Thank her. Um, Anyone? Two here, two outside the building. Okay. Two there, and <laughs> two there. It's, 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 it's not like it's not likely that uh, all this will be done in the next two weeks. But I wonder if we can have a little wi budget wiggle room. Sounds like there's currently three thousand dollars, roughly. Uh, yeah. Three wiggle room. room. Well, beyond three thousand. We uh, added six thousand to your lawyer. I guess we could add a couple of bucks for your <laughs> for your uh, plants. How much more do you want to spend? I don't want to. I want to spend as little as possible. But uh, what's your back good for? Lean it over and plant in your sedges. <laughs> so there's there's. I, I really don't know what's realistic. Uh, maybe I could just spend it to three thousand and then vote, vote at the next meeting. Okay. There's grass there now, turf, right? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, some of it is it's so wet that the grass isn't even... I mean, if you go out there now, you'll, you'll, you'll wonder. Uh, and I so have it's naturally outcrowded the grass up there? Do you remember when um, you that's said, debatable. I mean, Richard was saying that he, that he thought that if we left the grass, it would be permanent competition. Yeah. But... Uh, not everyone is convinced of that. So it might turn brown, but I don't know that I want it to be all brown on April 24th. And I would like some of the planning to have started mm -hmm. by April 24th. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we good with red buds? Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to s raise the uh, the $4,000 minus trees that have been purchased uh, to uh, $7,000. I, I move that we appropriate an additional $3,000 for the landscape. And what are you going to pay? What are you going to buy with that? These sedges? Sedges for, and red buds. Okay. And, and I don't know that it's going to be that high, but I'm surprised right now that what I've been looking at, individual uh, plugs are like $15 yeah. each. 
You don't have to earn your big card. That's no, <laughs> fine. Everybody else did it. I got it. He filled it up. He filled it up. No, I just, he did. I thought he was like. Do you want to tell us your story? Thank you very much for your service. Oh, we are very happy to have you come up the proverbial ranks and, and stay with us. It's fun stuff. It's hard. I've been here for a while, so it's nice yeah. to kind of go yeah. a little bit. All right. Why don't we pause my my landscaping thing and hear your story. Sure. And interrogate him. Oh, yeah, interrogate him. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, he's painting now, too, so it's not interrogation. <laughs> you started here as an explorer scout? Uh, yeah, I started when I was 13. So I've been here for a while. I'm 18 now. Well, actually, 19 tomorrow. So oh. almost like happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ah, yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I started as an explorer, and I just kept on coming down repeatedly. And uh, basically, I think I was 17. I went through an EMT class and passed all that up, and then went into fire. So. And then here I am. So then I just got cold water rescue, which was cool. And yeah, and that is where I'm at. So eventually you want to go through medics and get fire too. So that's about it. Well, we asked everyone else, what's your hobbies, Gavin? Um, I work on cars a lot. Doing cool. Mm -hmm. I work at the Wallace Centers, a life car too. Old cars, new cars, classic cars, uh, classic old cars. cars. I got a Bronco, uh -huh. seventy Bronco that I work on. So. Yeah. Yeah, ride motorcycles and then, and then work here as a hobby also. <laughs> and you just said wellness center? Mm-hmm. What yep. are you doing there? Uh, lifeguarding. So, yeah, I do that in a hobby too. I wanted to get into cold water rescue, so I went into lifeguarding mm -hmm. to get into water rescue, but there's not much like saving that goes on there. So it's just kind of a lot of saving. <laughs> That's about it. So, yeah. Are they back open? Mm -hmm. They are, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've been over in a couple months. Well, yeah, I know, but didn't they close for lack of lifeguards or something? Uh, it's kind of like spotty, so there's like sometimes it's open. Uh -huh. Now they're pretty much getting all open again. Mm -hmm. So now they finally have a lot more people mm -hmm. toward there. But it was kind of spotty at first. Well, that's my story. That's mm -hmm. like <laughs> not, not, not as exciting as you might thought it was. You're a local boy, right? Yeah. What's that? You're a local boy. You've been here for. Yeah, I grew up in town for nine years, and now I live behind Young's, so like, right next to the Dave Chappelle thing. How is the neighborhood you feel about the the what the Dave Chappelle stuff? It's all right. It's okay. That's good. Fair. Fair. You don't mind that It's loud enough. He probably doesn't have to pay the four hundred dollars a ticket. Yeah, I can just walk outside actually and listen to the whole thing. So I'll come over your house. Yeah, there's open windows and I can hear the whole thing. So yeah, I'll bet you can't do that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad deal. Well, thank you very much, Gavin. Thank you for your service. Appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you. Well, no, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. You're very welcome. Uh, Sales and red buds. Um, I was, yeah, I was without a whole lot of basis. But I'd like to raise the. Um, well, that's fine. I mean, we are going to. Yeah, and we should have probably done it before, but we had pandemics and all the rest of that stuff. I mean, we have stuff that we need to do, you know. Uh, we're not going to do it all at one time, but we'll do it as much as the energy, you know, that we have to move us, and the backhoe doesn't break, you know. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm asking, I'll make, I move. I'll, I'll make that motion. Okay. So you want to go from what you from say three four to seven? To, from four, four to seven. Four to seven. Increase of, increase the four thousand up to seven. And some of it's already been spent. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any further discussion? I just not interested in micromanaging. I just can't stand the thought of expensive sedge plants as competing with grass. You did should we remove the grass first? Well, I'm not against Roundup. Make it out? Should we put black plastic down and bake there? Mm. The problem with Roundup right now is if it rains, you need something like four days without rain for it to be really effective. And then, anyhow. Well, also, that's two separate things. Your, that is your sedge cellar. They should know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, even, even experts disagree. Well, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Call Hope Taps, you know. Especially 
experts this week. Actually, I, I will call Hotel. Um, <laughs> but that, those details what? are separate from the amount of money. Burn it all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burn it. Well, spray yeah. gasoline in. So we're we'll ready to vote. Are we? We have one more. We got to move in a second. And they've been using some things at our school. I think it's different. Dra there's drainage things. Mm -hmm. or one thing they put there is a thing with rubbery stuff at the climate, and when they don't want to lose water down there, it stops it from going down. And in other places, they have a thing, a frame they put around that around the edges, raising it a couple inches, so you can save some of the water, but it doesn't drain every single bit of water that comes in. Well, that's the way this one's designed. It's the, 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 the main drop is but oh, okay. three, right. at least three inches. Yeah, yeah that's it's pretty. Cool. I this. So um, the, water is, the water sits and it sits until it gets, gets too high. And then just mm -hmm. percolates into the ground. Now, water, a, citizen has come and told us three times that it's, it's not engineered correctly. Sorry, should be flush. Then you lose all the water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And a lot of top soil that you can change. Springs. There's always some there more than anyone else. <laughs> Any further discussion? <coughs> Any other maybe vote, please. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Thank you very much. Anything else? Not. I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. A second. I mean, I move. Here we have a whole motion. And I'll second. We have a second. We are adjourned by acclamation. Thank you, everyone, Thank for you. being with us this evening.